Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to live learning classes by Board of Studies ICAI. We are doing strategic management, chapter 6B. Oh, paper 6B for you. Good to see so much energy in the chat. As I was joining, I saw all the chat and people were really excited and energetic this morning. So good to see you guys are now habitual to waking up early in the morning and studying. Yes, yes, Parth, I am back with a lot of energy and I hope you guys are also doing good. I am good, Sushil, uh, Gaurav, Shivam, Santika, Divya, Rachna, Ajay. Hey, Hardik, I'm good. Hey, Madhav. Bilwa, Priyanka, Ninad, Ruturaj, Vadlamani. Good to see you guys again. The, f the early risers, the early joiners. These ne names keep repeating. You guys are the early joiners for me. Hey, Devil, Rahul, Sanjana Bain. Good to see you. Thanks, Rahul. Rahul says, I'm looking young also. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Israel. Seems like you're too active on LinkedIn. You, you started reading what I'm writing there. So good to see you being active on LinkedIn. What else? Anything, any doubts, any questions that you feel are unanswered, any concepts you're really excited about, anything that you read in the news recently that you think relates to your studies, do share that for the next five minutes as we see people joining in. Any new cool business news that you find interesting, do share with your friends and with me as well. And I can share with them. Right. And I think I think that sets up a context of what we have been doing so far in these sessions. I am pretty sure uh, strategic management, how we are studying right now, the paper 6P, it's very different from what you would be doing any theory subject. And I hope you guys are not missing out on the study material, right? That is there, you, you cannot miss out on the study material. It has to be done in, in like parallel with what we are doing in these sessions. My presentations, my slides are only for revision and understanding purpose. The exam is going to come from the study material. So guys, you know, I keep saying that do not, do not skip the study material. It's, it's imperative. You have to do that. Okay. Imagine this is the first live class with me. We have already done more like seven, eight classes right now. But good. So far, so good. WhatsApp and Reliance Alliance. Suman, Suman says she read about WhatsApp and Reliance. The more the, the alliance strategic alliance they're doing. What's that? So, tell us more about it. What are they doing? Why are they doing? What do you think is the benefit they are getting? Tell us more about what you've been reading about business. Tell us more about what you've been reading about strategy. You know, I was reading about this company. I don't know if you guys are aware or not. There's this company which is actually opening 100 more stores, okay? Let me ask you this question. I was reading this very interesting fact about this company. There's a company, uh, there's a bookstore, okay? There's a bookstore company, like physical bookstore. And most of the people are thinking that because of online, a lot of bookstores are now getting closed, right? A lot of people are not buying books by going into stores and reading the books or picking up books and reading. But the fact is, but the fact is that a lot of people still prefer reading books physically. Like they, they really want to go to the shop, find a book, read it, figure out what's happening in that book, and then buy that book. Okay. Instead of we thinking that a lot of people are moving to online, majority of the people, the book buyers are still physical. And this company already has like 70, 80 outlets across India. And this, uh, they're expanding 100 more stores in the next five years. So they're ready to invest more money into opening bookstores in the next five years, almost doubling their existing count. And I think that was an interesting strategy for me to understand. And my question to you is, okay, my question to you is, what helped them decide that they should go and open 100 more stores? 
what what do you think help them decide on the strategy that they want to expand to 100 more physical stores even when our belief even when you and me anybody would think that it's the online era everybody wants to buy things online why is this company expanding to 100 more stores across india when they will have to pay the rent the salaries the electricity the maintenance the stock and everything what helped them take that decision i would need some help from you to understand that tell me what do you think what helped them take this decision i also read that news on the ici invoice thing i saw that it was all over the internet shopping of geomart on whatsapp summer right so on WhatsApp now, I was also reading there's an integration of WhatsApp will become slowly and steadily merge into Instagram. What I also read within the news itself is slowly and steadily, they just want to merge WhatsApp with Instagram. And they're, they're trying a lot of experiments that adding a chat feature, a video call feature, a video message. Like now you have stories or channels in WhatsApp, right? So they're doing that public response people are going to buy a new future all right what else do we need to write reasons for mcqs in the exam if, it, if it's two marks mcqs will never have a space for you to write reasons unless specifically asked to prefer education help the students and readers to increase the educational knowledge okay I want all of you to try answer this. What do you think helped them take that decision? We're talking about strategic management. We're talking about strategic analysis. That's happening right now. It's current news. So let's see how do you relate your study with the practical life. YouTube has also included option to play games. That's right. Positive response from existing stores. That's right. Okay, Deepika. What else? Market penetration. Experience of having that book in hand for customers preferred more than online reading. Absolutely. Now, all of your answers are the results of the thing that I'm looking for. Okay. What helped them take this decision was a very simple thing. What helped them take this decision was a very simple thing and that's called data. They had data to prove their prejudice as wrong. They had an existing belief, okay? They had an existing prejudice. Unke man mein ye ek bana hua notion tha. We, they already had a notion, a belief that people are moving to online, that people are not going to buy offline. Everybody's moving online. That's a notion, a preconceived notion, a prejudice in your mind as a business. When you're doing strategic analysis, when you're building strategies, every single person, it's human to have prejudice, ek already thought process hota hai. What breaks that thought process? What Okay. And that is what has happened with this company. And that has put up a lot of question on a lot of e-commerce companies and a lot of brick and mortar companies. Now, companies like Reliance Trends, companies like Big Bazaar or Reliance Fresh, now they feel that maybe we are not looking at the data right because a lot of people still prefer to go to the market and buy products rather than online. People have already become saturated, especially in India, because India is such a different country. We have so many options available that people of India are already bored of online shopping, okay? What they now do is they want to go to the market. They want to spend time with their family. They want to roam around for an hour or so, eat momos or eat a roll, a kati roll or a sandwich or, or an aloo chaat or, or like whatever you want, golgappe or puchka, whatever you call it. They want to go and experience that in the market. They want to buy stuff. They want to negotiate. They want to bargain. Online does not have the option of bargain. It is what it is. But physical markets do have that experience. And that is what data has done for these companies. And that is what strategic analysis is as well. Okay. So my only point was strategic analysis starts with data. Now, when you become a chartered accountant, you go to strategy, you build, you sit down across leaders, business leaders who are taking decisions for the business. It cannot be based on gut feeling. It cannot be based on 
what I feel is going to happen. No, it's it it should be data driven. Okay, it should be data driven, and that keeps changing. So you got to be top of data. What's happening in the industry? What do numbers say? You're a chartered accountant. You should talk with numbers rather than I feel this will happen or I feel I feel a lot of things, but but that might be absolutely wrong because I don't have the knowledge. But I feel about everything. I feel uh, we will be going to Mars in the next five years. Will that happen? I don't know. I know nothing about rocket science. I know nothing about aviation. But I feel we will be going to Mars in five years. How? Well, it's gut feeling. Eh? But that might not be right for a business person to think, right? So that's what I'm saying. It starts with data. And that is where your news and all these strategies, and that is what we are also doing. We were doing a, we were doing market penetration, market growth. We were talking about product development, market development, and differentiation in the last session. We will continue from there today, right? How to improve English accent, right? Rahul, keep practicing. Or kuch nahi hai. You just have to speak a lot. Once you start speaking a lot. It's just about practice. Rahul, you Hindi bolni to nahi aati thi, but ab achhi bol lete ho because you talk in Hindi every single day. Resilience means to keep on going. You should you should be resilient means har nahi manni. That is called resilience. Bookshops are targeting hard copy readers of market by solving their difficulty and taking it as its opportunity. That's that's a great statement, Imanchu, right? I really like how you put those statements because it's more professional. You should do that. Harshit, I'll be uploading chapter three and I'll upload chapter four also today itself. I think I was also checking. I uploaded chapter three, but I think some glitch was there. I just shut down my laptop just after uploading. So it did not upload. I'll do that today. I checked it yesterday and, and, and I'll do chapter three and four today again. So one and two are already there. Chapter three, four will be uploaded today. So you can revise the four chapters before we head on to chapter five and revision. Okay, cool. With that, let's get to where we were in the last session. We were talking about strategic options, strategic choices, right? Chapter four was all about strategic choices. We were talking about the broad strategies that a business has, stability, growth, retrenchment, and combination. And we were, we just gave you some examples of some case scenarios, live cases, what's happening in the business and your thoughts. We did that. Great responses from you, like always. So happy to see that in the last session, right? Then we were talking about the three levels of where the strategy is made, the corporate level, the business level, and the functional level. So corporate level is where the top management sits and they take decisions about <clears throat> which market to enter, what products to do, what mergers and acquisitions should happen, or the major investments, where do we want to do our, or spend our money for R&D, research and development, kaha honi chahiye, innovation, kaha honi chahiye. all of that happens at the corporate level. The second level is the business level, which includes market segmentation, which includes product development, which includes pricing strategies or competitive positioning. It's more about building strategies which want to beat the competition, which want to win over the competition, which want you to take product development, what new should come to the market, what should be the design of that particular product or the market, right? The functional level of, of strategic management or strategic choices is where we talk about the real actions like resource allocation or process improvements or talent development. What kind of people do we want to do this work? What kind of technology adoption do we want to shift from Tally to SAP? Do we want to shift from Excel to Power BI? Do we want to shift from uh, VBS to Python, right? What kind of technologies do we want to use in our company? That's number one, more about resource allocation. Let's say what kind of money goes into marketing, what kind of money goes into innovation, what kind of money goes into, uh, let's say travel of people, what money goes into building a new product or sourcing a new product. You got to decide the resource allocation at a functional level. Starts at the corporate, goes to the business, goes to the function. It's, it's how it is in the corporate. There is an hierarchy, there is a flow, there is a process. Nobody can overpower that. That that is how this happens. Okay. Great. 
Then we'll be talking about the four broad strategies of stability, expansion, retrenchment, and combination. My question to you was only this, and I will ask that question again to you. Which type of companies, okay? Again, an exam question very frequently asked. What kind of companies or what stage a company is at if it opts for a combination strategy? If a company opts for a combination strategy of expansion and retrenchment, let me put it in this way. If a company is opting for a combination of expansion and retrenchment, what kind of stage, what kind of life cycle stage is that company at? A company is opting for expansion and retrenchment combination. What life cycle stage is that company at? Prince is uh, telling that uh, Rahul, there is an app called Talk New, and uh, in which people can talk in English with strangers on voice call. Don't do that, Prince. Who are those strangers on the internet? You don't know. How is that safe? I know internet is good for a lot of things, but wherever I read the word strangers on the internet, it it scares me because you don't know what the intention of the other person. You can't see them. You don't know them. Who is that? What are they trying to do? Nobody knows. It's better you talk to your friends who are physically around you and you know them since ages. So she says, uh, it is uh, while we are explaining, but very difficult to secure good marks in the exam because you are not practicing, so she. I always keep saying my sessions are about concept clarity, about what to study and how to study but you have to study from the study material anyway there is no there is no substitute to studying the study material and solving a lot of questions i keep asking a lot of questions the book has a lot of questions there's a question bank as well we will also be having a lot of case scenario booklets for you right we're preparing that you will have that as well I want all of you to answer. Are you guys sleepy or what? I just see seven, eight answers. That's that's not good. You guys should be active. I am active. Why aren't you active? Saturation stage, growth. I think it's maturity, growth, uh, closing his business. Can I tackle the problem? Emmanuel, come to that. Raul says growing stage. What about others? <clears throat> what stage do you think the company is at if it's taking combination of uh, expansion and retrenchment the correct answer would be maturity stage okay now the company is mature enough to decide which product to grow and which product to close down it's called it's called maturity stage because now you are mature enough as a company to decide kya rakhna hai aur kya nahi rakhna hai a growth stage would never want to retrench any product a growth stage company will also always want to keep adding to the number of products. The moment a company says, I want to retrench, that means it has reached either the maturity stage or the debt stage. That's one stage. Or the second stage is maturity where they're deciding that I want to keep this product and I don't want to continue this product or discontinue this product. That is called maturity stage. Okay. Great. The answer is maturity. As what we were, so you know the four things. The corporate we were talking about. Why don't startups stay in stability? Because they're growing. The growth stage, right? Major uh, reasons for growth we talked about. Experience karta hai. Expansion milta hai, right? And then we were talking about this this fantastic table, which is the Bible or the holy book of your a syllabus right of this chapter especially we were talking about growth which is of two types internal and external when you grow within your existing business that's called internal growth when you look outside your business to grow it's called external growth within internal growth we had two things intensification and diversification within external growth we had mergers and acquisition 
and we had strategic alliance okay so there were two things within internal growth which is intensification and diversification and within external growth there were two things mergers and acquisitions and strategic alliance intensification further had four things market penetration market development product development and diversification market penetration was when you were selling your existing product in a new market when you're selling existing product in the new market it's called market penetration you're penetrating the market you're entering deeper into the market you're going deeper into the market that's called market penetration okay when you want to increase your market share you want to increase your product usage you want to increase the frequency used find new application for current users that's existing users ko badhana increasing the number of consumers of an existing product increasing the number of buyers of your existing product increasing the usage the consumption of your existing product is called market penetration patanjali started from 5 stores goes to 20 stores goes to 200 stores goes to 2000 stores that is market penetration right when we talk about market development that means you expand geographically you target new segments you're taking your existing product right you're you're taking your existing product and doing what you're doing a market development a newer market right a newer market you're going to a newer market now that is where things start to change okay that is where things start to change we're basically you're developing a new market we're going to a new market right geographically expand kar diya humne when i say product development you're developing a new product but selling it to the existing market you're selling it to the existing consumer but you're giving a new product or a new feature or a new usage or the new use case of the same product that's also called product development but essentially that's that's where an important question i think a lot of people get confused with is if if let's say let me ask this question to you what if what if you change or increase the use case of an existing product will you call it product development or market penetration or market development let's take an example okay let me give you an example now when i say you increase the use case of your existing product iska kya matlab hota main batata hu aapko let's say there is a bike okay there is a bike and now now look at this there is a bike and this is a basic bike for let's say 50000 rupees 50000 ki basic bike hai and they want to tag they were ta- targeting the family okay this bike is for 50000 rupees and they were targeting family segment that a uh, middle class people can buy this bike for themselves now this company said let me do one thing let me just make this bike let me just copy this bike and okay let me copy this bike and let me just put some features on it let me just put a mud guard and and let me just put some accessories ek mud guard laga dete hain acha sa hai na ek acha sa mud guard laga dete hain handle laga dete hain handle acha kar dete hain seats achhi bana dete hain ek achhi si seats seat bana di yahan pe inhone aisa whatever like whatever you want to see then they have cool headlights and everything tires ko bhi bada kar diya thoda tires ko they have made this and they made this into a cool bike of 70000 and they say now this bike is used can be used for trekking or off roading right unhone kaha ki ab off roading ab kar sakte ho is bike se what are they doing what are they doing are they doing market penetration are they doing product development are they doing market development or they doing differentiation you tell me what are they doing Okay, so she says market penetration, increase market share. Prince says market product development. So she says market penetration. Okay, Rutraj says it would be product development. What else? Pat says it's product development, right? Then Kadambari product, product, product. Everybody Kadambari is something like Himanshu, Priyanka, Ankur. Everybody says product development. Okay. product development segmenting to new segments people are liking the bike theek hai give me 70000 take this bike i don't mind i don't mind getting 
थाउजेंड फ्रॉम फाइव ऑफ यू दैट्स थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लैख रुपीज ऑन अ सैटरडे मॉर्निंग चलेगा मेरे को आई एम डन विद माई रिटायरमेंट देन मैं कहूँगा ऐसे यही फोटो की बाइक सेवेंटी थाउजेंड की बेच के आई बी हैप्पी राइट नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल से प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट दैट्स राइट बिकॉज एड प्रोडक्ट फीचर्स प्रोडक्ट रिफाइनमेंट ऑफ दिस विल इवेंचुअली लीड टू हायर मार्केट शेयर ऑफ द कंपनी फॉर श्योर दे विल लीड टू न्यू मार्केट फॉर श्योर राइट नई मार्केट की उन्होंने फैमिली से ना यू माइट गेट कन्फ्यूज ना दिस इज वेर आई वॉन्ट टू पुट अ परस्पेक्टिव यू माइट ओवर थिंक यू माइट ओवर थिंक एन से यार बॉस ठीक है they made a new product they got into this new bike but this will also increase their market share which is true and this will also target new segment ki bhai family middle class family ko offroading to nahi chahiye but abhi offroading bhi kar rahe hain right so is this market development is this market penetration or is this product development you might get confused कि भाई इट इज डूइंग दिस यस इट इज डूइंग दिस यस एंड इट इज डूइंग दिस आल्सो सो व्हिच इज द राइट आंसर व्हाट आर दे डूइंग द आंसर लाइज इन द फैक्ट द आंसर लाइज इज ओनली वन फैक्ट ओके द क्वेश्चन रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली एंड इट विल ऑलवेज हैव एन इंटेंशन ऑफ द कंपनी बिहाइंड डूइंग दिस व्हाट स्ट्रेटजी दे आर यूजिंग इज बेस्ड ऑन देयर इंटेंशन is based on their intention a company wants to introduce an off roading bike a new bike to their portfolio a company wants to introduce a new bike to their portfolio that means they are working on product development that means they are working on the product development humne yahi bata di because their focus is on increasing their product line that means they are working on developing their products that's then the answer is product development if you are told the company wanted to expand or get more customers and they introduced off roading bike to lure a new segment of customers they are doing market development now if the question or the person says they introduce new line of products so that they can beat the competition and increase their market share in two wheeler segment in india they're doing market penetration they're doing market penetration so the intention behind doing a particular thing will define what strategy the company has as simple as that the intention behind every action will help you decide what is their strategy up simply product development you can say which is right because we were talking about product development so your answer is absolutely right but my only submission and point here is please read the statements very carefully in the exam okay and do not overthink please do not overthink i'm pretty sure people in the ages of 16 17 to 21 22 you guys are overthinking like anything okay कुछ ज्यादा ही ओवर थिंक करते हैं हम लोग इस एज में सो सो जस्ट डोंट डू दैट जस्ट बी कॉन्फिडेंट ओके दिस मेक्स सेंस एंड दैट्स राइट डू इट एंड बी आउट ऑफ द एग्जाम सोचने मत बैठते नहीं ये भी तो हो रहा है वो भी तो होगा ये होगा तो क्या होगा भाई नहीं होगा कुछ सो फोकस ऑन व्हाट्स देयर एंड डू दैट ओके मार्केट पेनेट्रेशन मार्केट डेवलपमेंट प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट डाइवर्सिफिकेशन लेट्स गो बैक टू द टेबल नाउ the second thing where we start today is diversification when you go beyond your existing product and market what happens new product in a new market ye ho gaya ye ho gaya ho gaya in teeno mein kahin na kahin kuch na kuch old hai right existing old product new market market development means new market old product then you have product development new product in an existing market cool diversification is new product in a new market okay new product in a new market is diversification how does that happen how does that happen and what kind of strategies do we have in diversification in diversification we have three strategies number one concentric number two conglomerate number three innovation concentric conglomerate innovation okay 
I see a question. Market penetration versus product development. Market penetration, product development. ठीक है एग्जिस्टिंग मार्केट में डीपर जा रहे हो मार्केट पेनेट्रेशन नया प्रोडक्ट फीचर ला रहे हो प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट नाउ डाइवर्सिफिकेशन कॉन्सेंट्रिक कॉन्ग्लोमरेट एंड इनोवेशन व्हाट डस कॉन्सेंट्रिक कॉन्ग्लोमरेट एंड इनोवेशन एक्चुअली मीन इज अ वेरी थिन लाइन इज अ वेरी वेरी थिन लाइन कॉन्सेंट्रिक राइट दिस सिलेबस और ऑल दी स्ट्रेटजीज रिलेट टू बोथ goods and services when we say product it is both goods and services okay let's see concentric and conglomerate agar concentric hai theek hai let me just give you some graphical thing and then you tell me if this makes sense or not okay graphical lete hain uske baad samajhte hain this is a triangle okay this is a triangle okay this is a triangle Now you tell me, I'm I'm giving you a very graphical example. Then we come to the businesses. Okay, this is your main triangle. This is your main triangle. You have to tell me. You have to tell me, is this triangle concentric to it or conglomerate to it? Is this triangle concentric to it or conglomerate to it? This is a triangle. So this triangle is what concentric or conglomerate? Think carefully. I see people saying concentric, 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 conglomerate. Saipar, Uttaraj, Manshu, Santiga, Rito, Gomati. Okay, Anne Marie, then uh, Adambari, Beluha, Madhav. पार्थ साथी शिवम भूमिका प्रियंका ओके कॉन्सेंट्रिक मेजोरिटी पीपल से कॉन्सेंट्रिक बेलुआ से इज बोथ कॉन्सेंट्रिक कॉन्ग्लोमरेट ये कैसा आंसर है दोनों ही है ठीक है वेरी गुड नो सन जो आई विल नॉट से प्रूव इट इज इट्स अ ट्रायंगल आई हेट इट मैथ्स बट आई वाज रियली गुड बिकॉज़ आई यूज्ड टू रिमेंबर द सम्स आल्सो Right, it's concentric, 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 concentric. Okay, the answer is concentric. The answer is concentric. This triangle to this triangle is concentric. So apparently, very clearly, this circle is conglomerate. Why do you say so? Okay, I know you guys know this. Let me just put one more perspective to it. Okay, it's the same. thing in a different way that means there is some relation between the two there is some synergy there is something that brings the two common there is something that is common between the two it it can be anything it can be a process it can be design it can be a raw material it can be customers it can be pricing anything anything between two businesses if there is something common between the two businesses it is a concentric business it is a concentric business if there is nothing common between any two businesses they are conglomerate triangle and circle are absolutely different right absolutely different a triangle has three angles three sides it can be this it has a lot of properties circle is has no angle it has a diameter and a radius and that is how it is right diameter hota hai radius hota hai curve hota hai iska apna there there are there is only one angle which is 360 degree it has three angles which is whatever uh, we say then this is also angles this is common the triangles are common there is something common between the two even if they look different the circle is absolutely different concentric conglomerate now let me give you another example of a business okay let's take an example of a business now let's take an example for example let's say i have a mobile cover okay i create phone covers जो आपके फोन पे कवर लगा होगा मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल हैव अ वेरी कूल कवर ऑफ योर फोन राइट आई एम अ मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ फोन कवर्स ओके आई आई मैन्युफैक्चर फोन कवर्स एंड आई स्टार्ट एंड आई स्टार्ट आई डाइवर्सिफाई द स्ट्रेटजी इज 
diversification new product in a new market so my phone cover my phone cover business i am expanding to do what i am expanding i am expanding to do what example do ek example hai main mobile phone banana shuru kar deta hu or let's say mobile charger phone zyada ho jayega मैं मोबाइल का चार्जर मैन्युफैक्चर करना शुरू कर देता हूँ आई स्टार्ट मेक मोबाइल चार्जर्स आल्सो द सी टाइप पेन वाला चार्जर आई स्टार्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एज वेल इज दिस कॉन्ग्लोमरेट और कॉन्सेंट्रेट मैगी एंड जीपी आर नॉट कॉन्सेंट्रेट दे आर कंपेटिटर्स आई कम टू दैट सेम कंपनी की थोड़ी ना DTH or OTT? No, you guys are you guys are missing the concept. It's diversification. It's diversification we are talking about. The same company, the same business does two different uh, products or two different markets. That is where concentric competitors are not concentric or conglomerate. They are competitors. They are either substitute, they are supplement. वो वाले products होते हैं या तो substitute product. GP and Maggie are substitute products. वो नहीं लोगे तो जेले लोगे वो कंपटीशन है दिस इज डाइवर्सिफिकेशन स्ट्रेटजी ओके द आंसर इज कंसेंट्रिक द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज दे आर कंसेंट्रिक फोन कवर एंड मोबाइल चार्जर देर इज समथिंग कॉमन बिटवीन द टू देर इज समथिंग कॉमन बिटवीन द टू राइट कुछ तो कॉमन है दोनों में विच इज रिलेटेड टू सेल फोन द कस्टमर्स आर ऑलमोस्ट द सेम द प्राइस पॉइंट इज सेम द रॉ मटीरियल यूज इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम राइट टेक्नोलॉजी लानी है उनके पास फैक्ट्री है इसी में बस ये बना सकते हैं विद अ न्यू रॉ मटीरियल राइट दैट्स वॉट कॉन्सेंट्रिक इज नाउ इफ द सेम कंपनी नाउ इफ द सेम कंपनी जो कवर बना रही है जो कवर बना रही है इट स्टार्ट मेकिंग वॉट ओके नाउ this phone cover company i i manufacturing phone covers now i start making what you know i start making dog food as well like pedigree or something i start making dog food as well main pedigree jo banate hain jo dog food hota hai maine wo bhi manufacturing karna shuru kar diya i started a new business of dog food as well is this concentric or is it is it conglomerate conglomerate right phone cover company has no relation a phone cover business has no relation to dog food but i'm doing that business yahan pe i do a business let's say of 50 crores and i make 5 crore rupees from here and here i do a business of 10 crores and i make 2 crores from here kar sakta hu na main because i know this is a profitable business i can get into this business also i can get into this business this is dog food business i i think i have money from this business i became rich from this business i am using my capital to make more money and i figure out yaar ye industry bhi achhi hai ye business which let me go and do this business conglomerate business simple hai concentric and conglomerate do you understand now diversification concentric and conglomerate ka difference understood so far so good give me a thumbs up i've been speaking for 40 minutes it is like jio starting with network service and now jumping on to the fuel station that's right all the either way starting with fuel station and now jumping on to ott ulta kiya but theek hai so this is how this is how concentric or conglomerate works now an interesting thing within concentric an interesting thing within concentric okay i see a lot of example let me see that phone cover company making tempered glass concentric phone cover company starts making laptop skins concentric right almost related products hain see relation just doesn't have to be with the customer it can be a process it can be a raw material it can be anything right it can be anything there has to be a synergy there has to be a synergy ek example dete hai na if you have done ca 
if you have done CA and you start doing CFA as well, you're diversifying your education, okay? Now you are doing chartered accountancy. Now you want to diversify your career. You want to diversify your education profile and you go and do CFA. Concentric or conglomerate? Concentric or conglomerate? You're doing CA, you want to diversify your education profile, you go and do CFA. Concentric education diversification or are you doing conglomerate educational diversification? What is your strategy in your education? Concentric or conglomerate? It's concentric. It's concentric. Both are somewhat related. Both are financial world related. Both talk about share market. Both talk about securities. Both talk about money making. Both talk about risk and, and all of that. Right? They are different. But if you have done CA, it will help you. Now you understand concentric. If you have done CA, it will help you to do CFA. You will have some base. It will be different, but you will have some base to do that. Right? You will still have some base or basic understanding that will help you to do CFA. That's called concentric, somewhat related. Okay. Now, if you are a chartered accountant and you go and become a physiotherapist, you have done chartered accountancy, but you feel, yeah, I, go, okay, kuch diversify karna. I want to do something new. I want to diversify my education profile. I want to diversify my career. You go and do a one-year certification course in physiotherapy and you become a physiotherapist. That's conglomerate. Koi lena nahi, dena nahi aapki CA ki padhai ka from a physiotherapies, uh, education or what you will study there or what the work you will do there. Right? So it's conglomerate. Koi lena dena nahi. There's no relation. It, your CA is not going to help you become a physiotherapist. There is no base. There is no synergy. There is no added benefit there, right? Or an existing platform for you to help become a physiotherapist. That's not going to happen. That is what conglomerate is. That is what conglomerate versus concentric is at the end of the day. Okay. Mother, what's your question? I shouldn't have missed it, but let me see. Okay, a company making bus and also making aeroplane, is this concentric or conglomerate? What do you think? A company making a bus and also making aeroplanes, is it concentric or conglomerate? Depends. Kaisi bus banate the, us depend If they're making very high-tech buses, then maybe you could call it concentric if there is some synergy. See, it cannot be plain Jane answer. Mother, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I bus wala aeroplane banata hai. Is it concentric conglomerate? I can't tell. I can't tell because I don't know what kind of technology they use, what kind of processes they had, what kind of technicians they had. Will that help? Will their bus making business help them in aeroplane building if they had that technology or technicians or team or process or jaga facility? Then yes. If they did not have that, then conglomerate. Okay. So it really depends on what the existing you in the exam also. See, exam may say it na SNI aega ki uh Halwai started doing uh edu uh co coaching classes. It's a simple question. There will be a case scenario, there will be a context to the question. As a simple hawa me ni aega na ki kal apka a, a cab driver doing uh, becoming a lecturer in Delhi University. Concentric or conglomerate. These are all questions. The point is, you need to have some context. And you will always have some context in the exam also in any question that is being asked. Without context, ke questions nahi aayenge. And you have to understand the context is, are there existing capabilities? Are there existing uh, product or process or technology or people or money or consumers, whatever? is part of the business is going to help them set a pace for their new diversification. If yes, concentric. 
इफ नो कॉन्ग्लोमरेट ठीक है ड्राइवर ऑल्सो ह्यूम सो कॉन्सेंट्रेट बहुत ही बढ़िया मार्ट है ऐसे तो एवरीबडी इज ए ह्यूमन तो सभी कॉन्सेंट्रेट है वॉट इज कॉन्ग्लोमरेट एवरीबडी इज ह्यूम सब कॉन्ग्लोमरेट ही होते हैं फिर तो कोई कॉन्सेंट्रेट ही नहीं है कंपनी मेकिंग स्मार्टफोन्स एंड मेकिंग स्क्रू ड्राइवर्स टू असेंबल स्टार्ट स्मार्टफोन्स इट इज कॉन्सेंट्रेट किधर से एग्जाम्पल आया तो स्क्रू ड्राइवर टू मेक वाई वुड समबडी जस्ट मेक अ स्क्रू ड्राइवर दे विल मेक द एंटायर केट ऑफ टूल्स नो A company making motherboard with mobile battery. That's concentric. Absolutely, both the parts are going to be used in the phone. Simple. Eh? Conglomerate business and mole says for all those people who are bringing weird examples and mole ko gussa gaye and mole kya raha doston suno. Conglomerate business is Tata Reliance Adani. Wo jo kar raha hai that is conglomerate. Baaki sab tum concentric khelte raho. Thanks and mole for for being a strict teacher, which I am not. <clears throat> Santi has a very interesting question. I'm I'm always in love with this concentric conglomerate because you guys come with great examples. What if I'm studying CA? Can I use it for UPSC as optional subject? Yes, you can. If you can, then it is concentric. I'm what he care on. That's what I'm saying, Santi. If your existing thing can help you in your next thing, it's concentric. If not, then conglomerate. Ajio and Jio Mart are concentric. Absolutely yes, absolutely yes. Ajio and Jio Mart are concentric. We will study that right now. Okay, let's get a deeper in concentric, and then you will understand it even more. Let's go one step deeper. Concentric. Hey, आज कल वो meme famous है ना? थोड़ा सा podcast को deep कर दूँ वैसे. Let me do the session a little deep. Okay. Concentric has two things. वर्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन एंड हॉरिजोंटल इंटीग्रेशन ठीक है जी पहले इसको समझते हैं वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजोंटल कॉन्सेंट्रिक डाइवर्सिफिकेशन वेयर वर्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन लिसन टू दिस वेरी केयरफुली माई फ्रेंड्स वर्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन हॉरिजोंटल इंटीग्रेशन वर्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन हॉरिजोंटल इंटीग्रेशन वर्टिकल इज फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड या तो आगे जाओगे या तो पीछे जाओगे ठीक है जी Now let's understand concentric. We are doing concentric. ठीक है जी. Just just bear with my writing. It's very difficult to write here, but okay. Anyway, we are doing concentric. Concentric can be either vertical, forward, and backward, or it can be horizontal. It can be horizontal. ठीक है जी. Now, forward, backward, and horizontal. What does this mean? We are talking about concentric. We are talking about concentric business, which is a very simple thing to understand. There is something common. There is something common that helps you set a base for your diversified business. Existing examples of let's take your examples. Let's take whatever examples you were telling. Let's do that with that. Motherboard wali comp is making CP or right? Motherboard is making mobile battery. What are they doing? They're doing horizontal. They're doing horizontal. Let's take that example very quickly, and you will understand what I'm saying. When you create a cell phone, when you create a cell phone, okay. Let's say this is a cell phone, whatever, whatever you. This is a cell phone, okay. Now this cell phone has, let's say, five hundred components. One component is this, one is this, one is this, one is this, one is this. Different components are being made. Okay, ji. अलग अलग कंपोनेंट्स हैं वो सब इसके अंदर लगने हैं ठीक है देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स जो इसके अंदर लगने हैं देर आर डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स दैट विल टुगेदर फॉर्म दिस सेल फोन देर इज अ कंपनी देर इज अ कंपनी व्हिच मेक्स दीज टू एज ऑफ डेट आज की डेट में ये दो प्रोडक्ट्स बनाते हैं राइट नाउ दे वॉन्ट टू डाइवर्सिफाई एंड दे वॉन्ट टू प्रोड्यूस दिस ऑल्सो एंड दिस वन ऑल्सो ये दो प्रोडक्ट्स और दे वांट टू क्रिएट दे वांट टू मैन्युफैक्चर दीज टू मोर प्रोडक्ट्स एज वेल ओके दे आर डाइवर्सिफाइंग देयर बिजनेस दे आर गोइंग इनटू लेट्स से दीज पार्ट्स आर यूज्ड इन स्क्रीन और ज्यादा इजी कर देते हैं आपके लिए दीज आर दीज आर पार्ट्स दैट आर यूज्ड इन स्क्रीन एंड दीज आर पार्ट्स 
which are used inside the phone, let's say motherboard or whatever the CPU of the of the phone, okay? CPU may like the screen may like that. So it's going from screen to CPU manufacturing. It's diversifying its business, right? And this is concentric because they it's related to their existing capability, existing product. It's concentric. It's related to each other, but it's horizontal. It's horizontal means in the value chain analysis that we studied, we have studied value chain analysis, value creation. In that value chain, listen to this very carefully. In that value chain, if your products are in the same value chain as a process, as a process, iske baad ye, iske baad ye, iske baad ye. first you have milk, milk se you make uh, paneer, paneer, uh, uh, byproduct type, so you make ghee, you make dahi, all of these are byproducts, it's a process. Unless somebody uh, gets the milk, nobody can make a uh, cheese or, or butter or uh, whatever it is, right? Or, or buttermilk or X, Y, Z, ghee and X, et cetera, et cetera. Nobody can make unless you have the milk. It's a value chain. Once you have, uh, let's say, uh, a buttermilk, then you make it a masala buttermilk. Once you have ghee, from ghee, you make a particular sweet, right? It's a value chain. It's a value chain, a horizontal process. Hai. Process, hai, right? It's a process. So horizontal process is related in the same either other deco lo or kya kar rahe hai is product se. That is your view. Okay. Now let me tell you, nahin, backward way aunga. That, that is where you get confused, and I'll come to that as well. Right. I remember last time a lot of people got confused, but I'll clear all of those doubts today. Concentric horizontal is you're doing the same in the same line of things. Okay? You're doing the same thing in the same line of things, and that is called horizontal. A final product, or let's say a final thing is there, and a lot of people are doing different things with it. That's called horizontal. One example right now on your screen is this. This is concentric horizontal. Okay. I'll give you another very easy example to understand. Very easy example to understand. Another one horizontal is horizontal kya hota hai? Now you'll understand. Okay. There is, let's say, let's take any raw material. For example, for example, let me think of a raw material which is used in multiple things. Let's say wood. Okay. Let's say wood. Let's say there's a plywood. Lakri ka fatta hai. This is a wooden plywood. Now plywood, plywood is used to make bed. Okay. Is used to make bed and it is used to make almiras as well. Okay. It is used to make almiras as well. Bed bhi banta hai, almira bhi banti hai. Okay. Bed bhi banti hai, almira bhi banti hai. Now there's a company, let's say, let's say, for example, I'm asking you a question. They're making beds. I'm saying, leave Almira too. Leave Almira too. They're making beds. They're making beds. Now they also make mattress. They opened the next business that we will make a mattress. Bhi what kind of concentric diversification is this? What kind of concentric diversification is this? Horizontal, vertical, forward, backward. What kind of concentric diversification is this? I'll take this example and explain this. A company making bed from plywood. What kind of concentric diversification is this? Majority of people saying forward. Very nice. Concentric, vertical forward concentric vertical forward that is where you're getting confused my friend abhi batayenge aapko ninety nine percent of the janta says vertical forward and that is wrong and that is wrong. The correct answer is, the correct answer is, this is a horizontal 
This is horizontal con diversification. This is horizontal diversification. I'll tell you why. Okay, abhi yahi pe. Stay with me here. Stay with me here. Let's understand the process. Okay, there's a company. Let's say company ka naam hai Bed King. Okay, there's a company called Bed King. Let's understand this very clearly. Pura lifetime yaad rahega. बेड किंग करके जो कंपनी है हमारी हमने कहा नाम ले लिया कंपनी का बेड किंग ठीक है जी बेड किंग नाउ यू टेल मी यू टेल मी हाउ डज दिस कंपनी मेक अ बेड बेड बनाने का प्रोसेस क्या बेड बनाने का प्रोसेस इज दिस इज देयर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट ओके दिस इज देयर प्लांट लेट्स से ऐसे फैक्ट्री बनाते थे बचपन में हम लोग राइट दिस इज देयर फैक्ट्री नाउ हाउ डू दे मेक अ बेड And I I'll explain it very quickly. They have plywood. There is a there is a wholesaler. There is a wholesaler sitting, let's say, in Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh में एक wholesaler बैठा है जो कि plywood बेचता है. Okay. This company orders a plywood from this person and says, "I want ten thousand pieces of plywood." They purchase ten thousand plywood pieces. This person says, "Okay, I take your order." It take this person takes a truck. A truck bulata hai, ठीक है? उसमें plywood डालता है दस हजार, दस हजार plywood डालता है और ये truck को उठाके they keep it in their factory. They bring it to their factory. That's part one. This company then in their factory out of this plywood and wood they make all the beds. यहाँ पे ये टेन थाउजेंड प्लाईवुड से दे आर एबल टू मेक सेवन थाउजेंड बेड विद वेस्टेज एंड वट एवर एवर दे मेक सेवन थाउजेंड बेड आउट ऑफ दिस टेन थाउजेंड प्लाईवुड एंड दे सेल इट टू देयर होल सेलर ठीक है जी होल सेलर दिस होल सेलर इज सिटिंग लेट से इन भोपाल ये होल सेलर बैठा है भोपाल के गांधी बाजार में दिस पर्सन इज सिटिंग इन गांधी मार्केट इन भोपाल एंड टेकिंग ऑर्डर्स From retailers or across India, India में Delhi से Mumbai से इंदौर से चंडीगढ़ से people are calling them that I want five pieces of bed, I want seven pieces of bed, I want twenty pieces of bed. इनके orders ले रहा है ये wholesaler and then it reaches back to this company and says I have your orders, ship these orders to these 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 people. Then ये लोग क्या करते हैं ये लॉजिस्टिक्स कंपनी को फोन करते हैं यहाँ से ट्रक निकलते हैं इनकी फैक्ट्री से एंड इट गोज ऑल अक्रॉस इंडिया ठीक है जी ऑल अक्रॉस इंडिया ये चला जाता है आपका यहाँ पे मैं इंडिया का मैप बनाता हूँ एंड आप समझ गए ठीक है जी ये इंडिया का मैप मैंने ऐसे बना दी जो अंडरस्टैंड दिस ऑल अक्रॉस इंडिया ये प्रोडक्ट्स चले जाते हैं दैट्स हाउ द बिजनेस इज वेरी सिंपल दैट्स हाउ द बिजनेस इज दिस इज देयर बेड मेकिंग बिजनेस सुपर सिंपल Now this same company, this same company, this same company called Bed King, ठीक है जी अभी आप समझेंगे मैं क्या कह रहा था This same company called Bed King, horizontal पता है कब होगा या vertical I'm saying sorry I'm saying horizontal but vertical पता है कब होगा जब ये backward and forward in the process जाएंगे okay when they go backward or forward in their process the process before them the pro process before them right up do not look at graphically just understand from a process perspective when we say vertical and horizontal do not look at sa and sa for a minute just think about the process going backward or go going forward this bed king company starts a plywood manufacturing business इनका रॉ मटेरियल क्या है वॉट इज देयर रॉ मटेरियल वॉट इज देयर रॉ मटेरियल रॉ मटेरियल इज रॉ मटेरियल इज प्लाईवुड इफ दे स्टार्ट मेकिंग प्लाईवुड इफ दे स्टार्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लाईवुड इट्स अ वर्टिकल बैकवर्ड इंटीग्रेशन इफ दिस कंपनी बेड किंग opens up retail stores आपने देखे हैं बड़े बड़े शोरूम में दीज आर बिग बिग शोरूम दे हैव बेड एंड ऑल द सेटअप ऑफ द रूम बड़े बड़े होम सेंटर्स एंड ऑल दीज कंपनीज दे डायरेक्टली सेल टू द कस्टमर विदाउट द होल सेलर दे ओपन अप दे शोरूम ऑफ द बेड्स 
that's vertical forward diversification vertical forward apne process mein apne value chain mein from their product to their customer from their product to their customer there are so many other businesses that are related to them okay from your product aapka ek product hai from your product reaching to the final customer from your product reaching to the final customer there are so many products or businesses within that yahan se pehle theek hai ye samjhiye this is we are talking about vertical abhi ya yep. do not go by the graphical just think from a process backward or forward right this is your product there are so many businesses before you in the value chain the raw material provider the transportation person the quality checking person all these businesses especially your material that you're getting cement mangwa rahe ho plywood mangwa rahe ho gum mangwa rahe ho you're bringing you're asking for fevicol somebody is making fevicol right that's a raw material for you in your entire process of reaching your customer so this is if you do any business if you do any business which is before your final product it's called backward integration if you do any business which is after your final product to the customer it's called forward integration right it's called forward integration oh sorry integration and diversification it's called forward diversification vertical right anything after your product till the customer any business which is there to reach the customer you start doing that that's a diversification for you that's a vertical forward aap aage ja rahe ho you're going forward if anything you're going before your final product any business that's related it's backward vertical okay that's vertical now what is horizontal bhaiya horizontal kya hai horizontal is in the same in the same thing let me just twist things for you okay now let us twist things for you your final product okay this is how ideally you should understand your final product this is process 1 let me write p1 p1 p2 theek hai abhi dekho aap you might want to take a screenshot also because as i'm thinking how i explain it to you i think i've got a way to explain it to you because it's always confusing and it's good that it's confusing tabhi to mera kaam aayega theek hai so what i'm saying here is look at this bahut simple se samajhte hain easy hai now there are couple of processes before you there are couple of processes processes after you reaching the customer theek hai ji yahan pe hum customer ko pahunchna chahte hain anything that happens here is vertical is vertical backward anything that happens here is vertical forward theek hai ji now what is horizontal horizontal is this horizontal is aapke product se aur kya kya ban sakta hai anything that is related to your final product listen to this carefully anything anything i will take another example also no problem i will take another example also theek hai we will do with a different industry also but understand this anything that is made out of anything that is made out of your final product or the raw material of your final product okay anything made out of your final product aapke final product se kuch ban raha hai or from the raw material of your final product you start doing that you start doing that business as well that becomes your horizontal business anything that you start doing which uses your final product or the raw material of your final product that's called horizontal horizontal diversification theek hai abhi abhi stay with me okay stay with me here what we're saying is now you tell me now you tell me a bed company 
a bed company starting a mattress business what is it a bed company a bed manufacturing company starting a mattress business is what I'll come to the make milk example as well. You guys are really interested about milk examples, but my question right now is: a bed company making a mattress or started making a mattress. What kind of diversification is that? It's horizontal. People who are saying forward concentric. Why? Tell me. Maybe I'm missing something that I'm not able to explain. Priyanka, why do you say forward con uh, concentric? Anne Marie, Shankar, how? Why do you say vertical forward? What makes you think it's vertical forward? Share with us. Maybe, maybe you could be right, but I want to check why. Why? Why does your brain tell you that it's vertical forward? Suppose manufacturing company is starting to produce raw material, then vertical backward is starting to sell directly to the final consumer, then vertical forward. That's right. Or any business to reach the final customer. Okay. Sometimes think about this. Think about this and more. Okay. Sometimes there is a value. See, agar I'll I'll give you another example where you guys are getting confused. I think I I get your point. Your raw material. Okay. Your your final product. Your final product can be used by a lot of people in a different way. Okay, your final product can be used a plywood wala hai. Let's go a, a a level back. Okay, let's go a level back. Okay, crude oil will be a good example for horizontal. Uh, could be, could be, right? Absolutely, crude oil could be a great example because. A lot of people out of crude oil, kya bana rahe hain? That's horizontal. But if you're going into mining, if you're going into delivery of building a petrol pump or a distribution channel, that is that's a great example, right? Right, Manish. We can take crude oil as well. We'll do that. That's a good one. We'll do that. We'll do the milk. We'll do the crude oil as well very quickly. Related products like bed with mattresses related and expansion of products with the related manner. That's right. You can do that. We are talking about that. We are talking about diversification. Both of these types of diversification. That's clear. Okay. This is a growth strategy. Intensification. We did this is diversification. Concentric and conglomerate. We are there. It's diversifying. That's right. But, but your raw material of finished product can be used in different ways. जो आप कह रहे हैं उसके हिसाब से तो देर विल बी नेवर बी अ हॉरिजॉन्टल थिंग पीपल हु से मैट्रेस इज अ वर्टिकल फॉरवर्ड इंटीग्रेशन देन व्हाट इज हॉरिजॉन्टल इफ मैट्रेस इज अ वर्टिकल फॉरवर्ड इन डाइवर्सिफिकेशन दैट मींस देर इज नो हॉरिजॉन्टल डाइवर्सिफिकेशन पॉसिबल इन एनी बिजनेस राइट बिकॉज Every product will have a different thing added to it by somebody else, right? So, वो तो vertical होगा ही नहीं कभी आपका. Now, somebody making a cell phone, somebody making a cell phone starts making phone covers. तो ये horizontal. आप तो कहोगे ये भी vertical है. It's a vertical forward because phone बनने के बाद ही you will have the cover. That's not right. That's a horizontal thing. You're finding what what else comes with your final product horizontally. right you're not going into your process you're not going into your process right that's vertical essentially principally always forward what forward integration forward integration is essentially more about distribution only forward uh, diversification of forward vertical uh, is is basically all about distribution so essentially your product is distributed either through shops retailers wholesalers online transportation 
right? That's that's forward integration. Majority of the time, distribution related he hota hai forward. A lot of different things happen in your backward concentric diversification. Mattress is related to the final product bed. That's why it is horizontal. That is right. Final product or raw material. And Mary, so we're talking about both. Either your final product is being used or your raw material is being used. Either of the two or both of them. Kokendi says idli butter. Idli butter kaha se aaya yaha pe? Then what is vertical forward thing? Mostly distribution. Mostly distribution. Abhi hum example lenge. That's, that was a great example what I think Manish shared, right? Let's take that example. Very good example, Manish. Let's do that and then I'll come to some of the things that maybe Rachna is also sharing and some, but some of you are also sharing. Let's do that. Nenshi, let's see what's the difference, okay? Petrol banane wali kam. It's called crude oil. With this, you might understand now. Let's take an example of crude oil. Petrol, crude oil chhodo. Petrol samajhte ho. Let's say you are a company which makes petrol, which sells petrol. Okay, petrol, uh, petroleum related kaam hai. Your final product is petrol. Petrol kaise banta hai? Tell me. Oh, idli batter. You're saying idli batter is horizontal. That's right. How is petrol made? The, the final petrol that you get, put in your cars and bikes and scooters, how is that made? It starts from deep shore mining, right? You would have seen in, in somewhere in the middle of the sea, in the ocean, you have deep shore mining. They bring out the crude oil from there. Then they transport it through big, big pipelines. They transport it through big, big pipelines and they reach the final uh, processing plant where the crude oil is then divided into multiple things, right? Multiple like petroleum, jelly, petrol, crude oil, coal, alag -alag products banthe hai. Usme se ek, one product is petrol, petroleum, which is then processed further to become engine fuel. That fuel then reach is transported to a petrol pump. That petrol pump then puts it in your car. Right? Any business. Now think about this. Think about this. Any business any business that you do that's happening till it becomes your product. Either you start making the distribution pipelines within the sea. If you look at, if you ever Google it, this is C, C bed pe na, itni moti moti pipelines like bigger than, bigger than your house. Okay. It's in, in diameter. There are huge, huge pipelines that are running on the seabed. Iske andar se petrol ye jo nikalte hain, ye nikal ke aa hai. It's, it's being transported through these pipelines to the main uh, facilities. There is a company, there are some companies which make these huge pipes of transportation. Theek hai? Who make these pipes of transportation. If you as a petrol company start doing this business, it is backward diversification. It is backward diversification. If you as a petrol selling company start processing crude oil, you start a crude oil processing plant, you start processing the crude oil, you are doing a backward diversification. You're doing a backward diversification. Okay. As a petrol company, you open your petrol pumps. Indian oil is not a petrol pump management company. Think about it. Indian Oil, Bharat Petroleum, Reliance Petrol, inke petrol pumps hain. Inke petrol pumps hain. Right? But their business is not petrol pump management. That is a diversification, forward diversification they have done. Their calm is to make petrol. Their calm is to do petroleum related stuff. 
right now indian oil is not a conglomerate is indian oil a conglomerate i'll yahan se clear ho jayega aapko tell me is indian oil a conglomerate company Indian oil is not a conglomerate. You will nowhere read that Indian oil is a conglomerate. Everywhere you will read it is India's biggest petroleum company or biggest crude oil company, right? It is the world's one of the biggest companies in crude oil. It's not a conglomerate, but but it does mining. it does distribution it has pipelines of petroleum it has petrol pumps it has uh, processing plants it has everything all these processes in their value chain every process pehle aur baad mein puri process line of petroleum from mining from the shore till reaching your car's petrol tank right sara business ye karti hain they do every business within this value chain from mining to reaching your car the distribution and the pipeline manufacturing and and the crude oil uh, multiplication or whatever the processing is distribution is mining is advertising is distribution through petrol pumps all these pumps and digitization sab kuch karte hain ye log but they are still not a conglomerate they are still not a conglomerate they are concentric diversification se expanded companies these companies have expanded through concentric because backward and forward every process they have done okay that's that's entirely concentric what they have done that is concentric ab now your question will be then what is horizontal for petroleum what is horizontal for petroleum what can you make with petroleum products वैसलिन जेली ठीक है नाउ थिंक अबाउट दिस इफ इफ इंडियन ऑयल का वैसलिन जेली आना शुरू हो जाए इफ इंडियन ऑयल स्टार्ट मेकिंग वैसलिन जेली हॉरिजोंटल कॉन्सेंट्रेक हो जाएगा नाउ इफ इंडियन ऑयल का वैसलिन जेली आना शुरू हो जाए इट विल बी हॉरिजोंटल फाइनल प्रोडक्ट द रॉ मटेरियल से कुछ और बना के जस्ट दिस सेलिंग पेट्रोलियम जेली विल बी एन एफ एम सी जी प्रोडक्ट इट्स अ फास्ट मूविंग कंज्यूमर गुड प्रोडक्ट और और लेट से लेट से दिस स्टार्ट मेकिंग वेजिटेबल ऑयल हो सकता है दे हैव द कैपेसिटी दे हैव द फेसिलिटी दे हैव द टेक्नोलॉजी टुमोरो इंडियन ऑयल का सरसों का तेल आ जाए इंडियन ऑयल स्टार्ट सेलिंग ऑलिव ऑयल or a mustard oil sesame oil peanut oil almond oil they can do that they have the technology they have the process they have the people they have the facilities they can do that it's related to their existing they already have a base they already have a base to work with such products and they are diversifying horizontally horizontally diversify kar rahe it is concentric because they already have existing base which can help them diversify indian oil bharat petroleum ka sarson ka tel or or a peanut oil or an olive oil or a coconut oil have you seen no they're not done that what if they do that's going to be a horizontal diversification it's going to be a horizontal diversification concentric theek hai do you understand this concentric vertical horizontal they making lubricants right that's again horizontal diversification related product hai. like engine oils bana rahe hain they are making coolants they are making all these lubricants of the car horizontal diversification hai. Yes, Saipa. Yes. If milk is your final product, it's horizontal. If you're making cheese and paneer and uh, and sweets, if you're making burfi, if you're making burfi from milk, and your business is milk, then you're doing a horizontal 
a concentric diversification. Now, if they start making fuel tanks for the vehicles, then that is what? Abadao. Pehli baat to wo banayenge nahi. Thik hai? So, so that's why you have to be a little strategic here. Makes no sense. Nobody, it, 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 you can take the examples anywhere. That's, that's okay. Right? Aise to bhoat kuch related hai. Everything works on petrol. What if they start making this? What, what if they start making that? That's a different business altogether, Rachel. Their facilities, their technology is not related to fuel tank making for the vehicles. It will be a conglomerate then. Because, because, because fuel tank banane wala is a heavy industry. This is a petroleum industry. Think about this. It's a petroleum industry. Ye petrol banate hain. Uska tank banane jaoge to wo conglomerate ho jayega. Wo con it's a different thing. People will, your existing people can't make that, your existing technology can't make that, your existing factories can't make that, your existing uh, skill set cannot do that. So it's conglomerate. There is nothing common in terms of how you can do that. Okay. It might be common between ki petrol ki tanki mein petrol dalta right? But from a process perspective, from a business perspective, you do not have that skill set. It's in entirely different then it becomes different for you it's conglomerate okay chike ji atf banayega to wo obviously it's going to be a horizontal wo banata bhi hai aisi baat nahi hai theek hai rahul i will have to give the the benefit to manish for giving us the crude oil example ka idea so even if I do a patent, I'll give fifty percent to him. When he's ready, ho ja dost tamir hone ke liye. Okay. I think I think this gives a fair idea. You want to take a screenshot? Take a screenshot. I'll just stay here for ten seconds. You want to note down something? You want to ask something? Do that. We are here for another five minutes. Any questions, any doubts so far, feel free to ask that. No questions means good. You have understood, but I would really want to have some questions. It helps keep the conversation going, right? Do ask if you have, if you don't have, just give me a thumbs up, okay, whatever you want to feel or say or share, fine, so that we can go to the next one. No doubts, Path. Thanks for confirming. Cool. Okay, I see a few thumbs ups. Great. It's 8.23. Let's, let's take a break at 8.45 today, right? I just want to complete the second piece of conglomerate and then we will take a break okay we'll do the conglomerate thing we did concentric vertical horizontal forward backward done intensification done 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 and done what we're going to read or understand now is conglomerate and innovation conglomerate we know okay conglomerate is unrelated data reliance builder all these guys are doing conglomerate business all of these are doing conglomerate business unrelated kuch bhi relation nahi hai from your existing business or a product or a market or technology and you get into a new thing that's called conglomerate a CA becoming a physiotherapist koi relation nahi hai Tata Airlines bhi dekhta hai there is Air, Air India that Tata looks after there is Tata Capital Tata Motors Tata Salt Tata Tea Tata Coffee Right? Then there is Tata Projects, then there is Tata This, then there is Tata That. Reliance Petroleum, Reliance Geo, Reliance This, Reliance Movies, Reliance Hotels. All of these unrelated. 
होटल वाले का मूवीज से क्या काम मूवीज वाले का पेट्रोल से क्या काम नो रिलेशन but they still doing so many businesses they have diversified they have diversified the business so much and that's called conglomerate they have diversified themselves a growth strategy we are talking about growth strategy it's a growing company growing companies do all of this not boring small companies growing companies do all of this they intensify or they diversify when they diversify into areas which are unrelated to their existing businesses we call it conglomerate we call it conglomerate classic examples in india we know of tata ambani adani classic example there are many more there are many more conglomerates but these are some big names that we which are easy to understand okay that's conglomerate when i talk about innovation innovation helps a lot in diversification which is true which is obviously true when you innovate when you do something new you're ideally diversifying you're ideally diversifying okay when you're actually doing that okay now when you're actually innovating when you're innovating what happens is either either you are solving complex problems okay either you are solving complex problems like sustainable energy solar energy wind energy electric vehicles or rechargeable batteries uh, lithium or uh, like lithium batteries hai or you're working on some new product that's helping the environment or the healthcare or whatever it is a problem that the human or the mankind is facing ab wo solve kar rahe ho when you innovate number 2 you are either increasing productivity like artificial intelligence or machine learning chat gpt hai right all this ai stuff video Recording in progress. Companies focus on spending a lot of money on R and D is so that you innovate. Either you solve an existing complex problem, you increase the productivity so that you become better than the competition, faster than the competition, and you can charge more money or become a monopoly. Once you're a monopoly, that's done. You're winning the game. That's that's what monopoly is all about, right? You charge a premium and you become a monopoly. that's why you should innovate solve complex problems increase productivity and add competitive advantage to your existing thing so that you can charge a premium and become monopoly okay that is why you innovate and this innovation brings in diversification this brings in diversification because you're doing something new you're doing something new that's why innovation is part of diversification theek hai ji very nice it's 8:30 almost right i guess i guess let's take a 10 minutes break you guys freshen up get something to drink wash your faces whatever you want to do right it's 8:30 let's circle back let's meet again at 8:40 sharp let's do mergers and acquisitions and strategic alliance and let, let's also start with some of good portfolio management tools that we have to study in this chapter very interesting chapter from a strategic management perspective i hope you're having fun and let's see you at 8:40 a 10 minutes break okay
All right, guys, we are back. I'll just wait for a minute for all of you to join back as well. And then we get into our next topic, which is external growth. Pretty easy, pretty simple. I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time on this because it's you guys are smart enough to understand this. External growth. Let's go. We are back. I am also back. How how's the weather there? Like I think there is the coldest state right now, unless you're from Jammu Kashmir. Others I feel, I feel they're fairly okay. Twenty five, twenty six. Delhi is around fifteen, fourteen, fifteen degrees. It's 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 more cold here, colder here than the rest of India. Okay, great. Prince is back, Kadambri is back, Madhav is back, Parth is back. Uh, when uh, the classes start for November 2024 batch, Suhas, I'm not very sure, should happen somewhere in August. Or if you're talking about all subjects, I think they start somewhere in June, June, July, somewhere in June they start. May and June they start for all subjects and I think strategic management essentially ranges somewhere between um, August or sometimes June as well. Oh, Surat is at 24. Surat is also pretty, pretty hot in terms of weather, right? 12 degrees in Hisar. Ha, Hisar is also thandi jaga hai kafi. Nagaraju says Bangalore is like Jammu now. Uh, Nagaraju, see, Bang I've stayed in Bangalore. Bangalore from 11.30 in the night till 6 a.m. in the morning is Jammu. Then from 6 a.m. to 11, it's somewhat like Delhi. Then from 11, it becomes Chennai. And then again in the evening, it is like Mumbai and then goes back to it being Bangalore-ish. Like pretty chill. The evening walks are fantastic. Then it starts getting cold. So I know Bangalore is the most important thing. People who are from North India, when they go to Bangalore to work, 100% everybody falls sick for the first six months. Because the temperature ranges in the same day 15 degrees and you're like kya ho hai? sweater penu nahi penu. Yes, we have a class tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a class tomorrow. We have a class tomorrow. I said Daraya Matkaru. I, I am pretty sure there's a class tomorrow. Let me also check. Because I know there's a class tomorrow. Okay, we go to the schedule and then we go to my name. You go and search my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there's a class tomorrow, 19th of November. We have a class tomorrow. Absolutely, we have a class tomorrow. Thank you for having a class tomorrow. <laughs> cool. Yes, Rituraj. Rituraj has gone through my entire LinkedIn. Like, this is his exam paper. Now he knows where I stay, where what I do, who am I. 16 degrees in Punjab, Shivam. Shivam, Punjab, Ash Karo, yaar, you have makki ki roti, ghee shi, khao, yaar. You should go and do the sarsno ka saag. Aagya mausam ab to. You are the freshest of all. Ham log ke baas to pura chemical wala aar hai. Awesome. Let's get back to where we were. Ye baatein to chalti rengi. Let's get back to our syllabus. Because a lot of you are getting jittery ya jaldi badao. Okay, thik hai. Let's do that. So, under growth strategy, we talked about internal growth, which is simple. Okay. Internal growth we have done. Internal growth is intensification, diversification. While now we will talk about external growth. Now, external growth has two things: mergers and acquisitions and strategic alliance. Okay. Mergers and acquisitions are very simple to understand, and even strategic alliance. Simple example: 
merger and acquisition i always keep teaching this very simple just look at my hands and then you will understand ki kya hai one company there is another company they come together this is called merger theek hai there is one company there is another company they come together it is merger there is one company the other company comes and buys it acquires it acquisition hi hello hello friend let's work together we merge each other okay one company other company i want to buy you okay buy me acquire me acquisition okay this is what mergers and acquisitions are as simple as that aur jo logic concentric mein laga tha na dost the concentric wala logic is there in mergers and acquisitions exactly the same what kind of company are you buying or merging with what kind of business are you buying or merging when you start on your own we call it diversification when you say ki theek hai now simple hai in the same example if the bed making company started making mattresses horizontal if they bought a mattress making company if they acquired a mattress making company that is external growth merges and they acquired a horizontal acquisition simple hai na when you do it yourself it is called diversification jab chal to hai kisi aur ka business you buy or merge with it's called merger or uh, merger or acquisition right it is as simple as that and the same logic applies vertical horizontal co generic and conglomerate yahan pe concentric hai yahan pe we just call it co generic we'll call it co generic logic is the same logic is absolutely the same within co generic you will have horizontal vertical right yahan pe alag dikha but it's it's within that and then you have a conglomerate when you do it yourself it is diversification when you go outside and buy go outside external growth it's called mergers and acquisitions external growth horizontal vertical co generic and conglomerate what is strategic alliance strategic alliance ka classic example is classic example of strategic alliances when you go to starbucks it's called in india in india it's called tata starbucks it's called tata starbucks now okay i don't know if you have google i i would really suggest if you have phones or whatever you have just go to google and write starbucks to uh, starbucks in india and you will go to some images or whenever you have time okay every starbucks photo okay? every starbucks photo or, or the store there is written a tata alliance every store of starbucks in india below starbucks it's written a tata alliance okay i don't know if you have seen that or not let me just do that i'll just stop share and do that for you because i want you to do that or understand that okay what i'll do here is let me just go to tata and i'll just share that with you give me one second okay tata starbucks india and we go to images why is my internet so slow i just want to share that give me one second i don't know my internet is acting up now says nahi dikhaunga image क्यों नहीं दिखाएगा दोस्त एनी वे आई डों इशू नो प्रॉब्लम आई शेयर बैक माई स्क्रीन दो बट द पॉइंट इज बट द पॉइंट इज वेर इज दैट कॉन जार आई आई जस्ट क्लोज माई प्रेजेंटेशन जस्ट गिव मी वन सेकेंड गाइज इट्स फनी अरे वन सेकेंड Why is this acting up? I'm so poor at technology. Yes, sir. Hona to niche. I am. Abhi zoom nahi ke. Ab zoom kaha gaya? ठीक है. Got it. Cool. Anyway, let me know once you can see the screen. Okay. I know you can see it now. So my only point was, if you go to go to Google and search that, I just did that, but I don't know. I wasn't able to share that. Somehow, Chrome is not allowed to be shared. Cool. But the point is. 
दिस रिटर्न स्टारबक्स और स्टोर के नीचे लिखा होता है टाटा अलायंस दिस इज वॉट स्ट्रेटेजिक अलायंस इज ओके स्ट्रेटेजिक अलायंस मीन्स स्ट्रेटेजिक अलायंस मीन्स बॉस इट इज सिंपल थिंग विच सेज लिसन आई डोंट नो सो मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर बिजनेस बट आई वॉन्ट टू डू दैट बिजनेस I don't know a lot of things about the business but I want to do that business and I want somebody to be my partner I want somebody I want somebody to be my partner who has expertise who has experience in that sector okay the other company says I find this business really interesting and I want to bring this to my country my area my place whatever and i i see good money to be made but none of the companies want to buy each other or merge each other sath mein kaam karna hai bas sath mein bas kaam karne ka mann if two companies two brands want to work together to make good money in a particular project or a particular business idea they have they get into an alliance strategic alliance you have five good things i have five good things let's come together and do something new let's diversify externally grow through strategic alliance starbucks had no clue about how indian consumer is and they figured out people trust tata the most in india jis bhi cheez ke aage tata lag jayega the consumers trust it blindly people see quality hogi अच्छा होगा दे विल नॉट बी स्कैमिंग अस इट्स अ गुड कंपनी इट्स अ इट्स ट्रस्ट वर्दी कंपनी वी ट्रस्ट इन टाटा दैट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट स्टाबक सेट फैंटेस्टिक लेट्स वर्क विद टाटा टू गेट इन टू इंडिया एंड दैट्स वॉट दे हैव डन पीपल फील स्टारबक्स इन इंडिया इज इज इट्स बूमिंग इट्स क्रेजी बूमिंग फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस स्टोर्स right across the cities in in the smallest of the cities of india they have reached smallest not in terms of size in terms of where you would not even expect starbucks wahan pe bhi hai right i i was not i was not very sure i a new jaipur is a very rich uh, city in terms of very rich people live there but i was not sure there like two or three starbucks in jaipur i'm like even on the way to jaipur if you go from delhi to jaipur there are two starbucks like why are people buying a 500 600 rupee coffee that to going to rajasthan rajasthan mein kaun coffee pee raha hai bhai but that is how it is people are people are it's it's a booming industry people are buying coffee right so that's it so when you want to grow in a particular business when you want to get into a business but you do not have an expertise you get a player a person who helps you you get a player a company a brand who helps you to scale up that business you bring the best of both worlds together and do something that's called strategic alliance vodafone idea great example okay rtp kab release hogi jaldi release hogi the i don't have a date to be honest but very soon right jewelry like you have tanishk tata brand that's not a strategic alliance that's that's their brand they're just saying it's a tata brand so that people know ki tanishk tata ka hai but starbucks to tata ka nahi hai na it's a alliance prince is everybody needs a partner prince ki to jaldi shaadi karao prince bechara pareshan baitha hai everybody needs a partner theek hai prince aapka to naam hi prince hai aapko to princess lagegi dost your parents have selected your name very apt prince so that you need a princess ab wo princess kahan ki hogi wo you decide or let the princess decide aap kahan ki hoge that's how it is you you are not the chooser this the times have changed and it's good the times have changed alliance means partnership alliance means dosti alliance means jari uh, okay so alliance means when you are friends with a different company a different brand you come together to a particular project bringing the best of both it's called alliance
Madhav, I have uh, your question. What is the meaning of R and TM in product? R means registered. TM means trademark. So if you're registered your name so that nobody else can use your name, to uske upar R likha hota hai. And if your logo, if your design is trademark, then it, it means nobody can copy. Or if somebody will copy, you can ask money from them. Ki ye to mera trademark hai. You're using my property. You're using my intellectual property give me money okay that is how it is okay strategic alliance you can go and read this this will be uploaded anyway so benefit of strategic alliances you have economic benefits both the parties bring in money there's organizational benefit both the parties bring in their good things about their structure their team their talent both the teams sit together to understand the strategy best of both minds political benefits ke liye bhi kabhi kar log karte hain strategic alliances like if if you're getting into a business which needs some political reference that needs some political help then you get into strategic alliances with political parties or political business people so that you can do business in a particular country right so that is that is what strategic alliance is also done for it is done for multiple reasons could be political organizational economic health strategic a lot of reasons alliance uh, your example is right or wrong devia your example is concentric milk milk products like sweets were for the horizontal but we purchase cow milk that is concentric vertical backward means that is right that's absolutely right cool ग्रोथ पढ़ लिया रिट्रेंचमेंट भी तो पढ़ना ओके रिट्रेंचमेंट स्ट्रेटजी नाउ लेट मी टेक यू बैक टू वेयर वी स्टार्टेड ओके लेट मी टेक यू बैक टू वेयर वी स्टार्टेड वी वर एट दिस प्लेस किधर गया हेयर स्टेबिलिटी डन ग्रोथ डन ओके नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिट्रेंचमेंट we're talking about retrenchment that means my things are not happening within retrenchment we are talking about this strategic exits within retrenchment we will be talking about strategic exits okay strategic exits kya hote hain when we are talking about retrenchment that means my business is not working what do i do now my business is not working what is to be done okay let's understand this strategic exits have two options strategic exits have two options either you turn around or you divest either you turn around or you divest strategic exits have two options either you turn around or you divest when you say turn around that means i will give it one more try my business is not working my strategy is not working i'm not making money it's not a beneficial business to me but i will still give it one more try to turn it around into a profitable business to turn it around into a profitable business i will give it one more try that is turn around strategy the second strategy is called divestment strategy which means mere se nahi ho raha hai i will sell off the business i am not able to do this i can't do this anymore i want to exit right that is divestment strategy turn around is i want to give it one more try to make it profitable that is called turn around strategy every business when they're making huge losses first they go for turn around then they go for divestment ideally generally that is how the process is but not necessary zaruri nahi hai you can divest it straight forward as well right and you can not do turn around at all and say nahi mere ko bechna hai i made made up my mind i just want to exit that is one thing other is turn around i want to give it one more try and see what i can do okay now turn around strategy ke upar aata hu main abhi but before that before that some of the indicators which point out that the turn around is needed pehle to ye samajhne hame turn around chahiye bhi ya nahi how do you understand that you need that you need a turn around strategy number 
consistent or persistent negative cash flows in the company, uncompetitive products or services, declining market share, deterioration in physical facilities, overstaffing, high turnover of employees and low morale. People don't want to work anymore. There's so many people and the work is less. That means you don't have work. Overstaffing over here. Mismanagement. People are not taking decisions. I'll see and nobody cares what's happening. Nobody cares about the business. Mismanagement. Uncompetitive products. The products of the competitors are way better than you. Your market share is declining consistently either because of technological change, either because of customer change, consumer behavior change, lack of innovation, lack of features, pricing could be any reason. You have to figure that out. Then persistent negative cash flows, people, you are not able to convert your working capital for your business. You're not able to convert your sales into cash. And but up expenses, hai. you still have to give salaries, you still have to give rent, but you're not able to convert into cash. Persistent negative cash flow, classic example is shopkeepers, the small shopkeepers. Now think about this. Uh, there's a small shopkeeper who sells uh, all these stuff, sabun, chawal, atta, bechte, okay? Everybody goes to their shop and says, I want to buy rice and atta and everything, but I give you money next month. Ab parchi pe lo. Keep it in your diary, right? There are many shops who hisab likhti hain, right? Ki inka itna ho gaya, inka mahine ke end mein, after the month, you give me the money in total. I can't do rows 13 rupees, 14 rupees, rows nahi kar sakta. Aap likh lo. After one month, I will give you the money. But this shopkeeper has to pay money to the wholesaler every day. When they are buying the product, the wholesaler says, I, I, can't, I don't give credit. You have to give me money and take the product. You want to sell it, sell it, don't want to sell it. Mujhe paisa deke jana. Right? Now, when this model comes into the picture, this person has to pay money every day, but will get money after one month. Now, this becomes a problem. What if... People after one month do not pay. 30% of the people are on leave. Diwali ki chutti aage. People went on to travel. Paanche din ke liye, they're not there. They're not able to pay because they're not there. You're done. You don't have cash for 35, 40 days, even to give salaries, to give bonuses, to buy more product. Or zaman kharidne ke liye bhi to cash chahiye. So this is where, this is where it becomes problematic, a cash flow problem. The important elements of turnaround strategy are as follows. What do you do? What do you do? Important elements of turnaround strategy means you want to do a turnaround strategy to bring all of this back. You, you can either do change in top management, uh, overstaffing, you start cutting down on jobs, right? That's what is happening in the world. Revenue generation, you start doing side businesses. Within that business, you start doing trading, you start, instead of manufacturing, you become a trader, you become a wholesaler, revenue generation pipelines, right? Or you sell off your factory and you start giving money on a loan to some, or to smaller people or smaller business people, right? So you create interest income, you start creating revenue generation strategies, asset liquidation for generating cash, you start selling off your machinery, your trucks, your cars and everything. Better internal coordination. You start telling people that boss, be more conscious about the business. You are being too lazy. The better internal coordination between the teams, the purchase, the supply, the manufacturing. business You guys are too lazy. Get back to your business. Take care. Now, this is what you can do in turnaround strategy. Major reasons. Major reasons for retrenchment or turnaround strategy, abhi humne padha hai, but these are just in a little detail, right? I will not explain it to you, Abhi, because it is just for your revision. Because this is, let me tell you, an MFAC. Wait, I have to make a lot of questions from this. When I get into making questions, I make a lot of questions from this. Whenever I'm asked to make questions, I make from these. Mujhe to bada pasand hai, retrenchment, because that, that is where the real strategy comes. When the company is growing, it's easy. When the company is in problem, that is where real brains come into the picture, right? So I make a lot of questions from these statements. So you will see a lot of questions when I, I do. At least come from these because I love this particular topic because this is a real analysis. Something is wrong is the business. What is that wrong thing and how do you correct that? 
दैट इज वेयर द रियल फन इज ग्रो कर दिए कंपनी तो ईजी है कस्टमर्स आर कमिंग एंड बाइंग योर प्रोडक्ट ईजी बिजनेस करते जाएंगे बढ़ते जाएंगे इट्स ए गुड बिजनेस राइट मजा आता है But when person comes and says, "My business is not working. What's wrong? I don't know." Then you figure this out. That's the fun, and that is where these questions are: What is wrong with the business? The management is weak. Management feels the business could be viable by divesting. Bechna shuru kar do. Kar diya hai logon ne. Negative cash flows hai. Acquired the business that you acquired becomes non-profitable or mismatch. You cannot integrate within the company. it becomes difficult for you you acquired a company thinking that it will help me grow my business ulta pad gaya aapko dao that that risk became negative for you a better alternative may be available for investment causing a firm to divest a part of it unprofitable business that means which achhi opportunity did gayi which you figured out that there is a better opportunity i can just sell off my existing business and start doing a new business for example for example I know a lot of a lot of uh, teachers and a lot of educators. What they did was when Baijus and Vedantu and all of this started, right at the peak of their growth. अभी तो बैंड बज गई उनकी, but at the peak of their growth, I know a lot of teachers who were teaching science and maths to tenth, eleventh, twelfth. They shifted, they shifted from teaching those subjects to teaching international. placement for undergrad like gmat or or sat sat right sat exams hote hain gres hote hain gmats hote hain the foreign students this they shifted to international student uh, agencies with this started shifting so this is also strategic exit of your existing business because you figured out there's a better opportunity now or this existing industry is dying for us too competitive we are becoming uncompetitive our product and service is uncompetitive so we need to shut this down move to a new segment right that is also strategic exit and it's good and it's good you should know when to exit you should know when to exit okay that's that's an important factor now strategic exit किसी के अंदर वी हैव टर्न अराउंड स्ट्रैटेजी टर्न अराउंड स्ट्रैटेजी हैज कपल ऑफ स्टेप्स वेरी वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ट वॉट आर द स्टेप्स फॉर टर्न अराउंड स्ट्रैटेजी ये याद रखना दीज आर द स्टेप्स फॉर टर्न अराउंड वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ट क्वेश्चन एवरी एग्जाम आई हैव सीन इन द लास्ट फाइव इयर्स ऑल्टरनेट अटेम्प्ट में ये क्वेश्चन आता ही है राइट द स्टेप्स ऑफ टर्न अराउंड Some way or the other, they will ask you. Okay, this is a company is in a problem. They want to turn around. Uh, what are the steps you would suggest as a consultant to them? Okay, steps of turn around strategy number one: assess the current problem. And this is steps in this flow only. This is one. This is two. This is three. ऐसे ही होना है. आगे पीछे नहीं कर सकते आप. ठीक है. So number one is assess the current problem. Number two is analyze the situation and develop a plan. Number three, implement an emergency plan. Number four, restructure the business. Number five, returning to the normal position. Number one, problem kya hai samjho. First, before doing a turnaround strategy, figure out what the problem is. Number two, figure out a solution and develop a plan for that problem. Figure out a solution and develop a plan for that problem. Number three, implement a quick emergency plan. सेल ऑफ एन एसेट ओके इमरजेंसी प्लान सर एकदम फटाफट क्या कर सकते हैं टू ब्रिंग द पोजिशन बैक नंबर वन इज यू सेल ऑफ योर एसेट यू शट डाउन इफ यू है वेराइटीज ओके लेट से आई एम अ सोप मेकिंग कंपनी माई बिजनेस इज नॉट डूइंग गुड आई फिगर आउट दैट आई आई नीड टू टर्न अराउंड नाउ आई एम मेकिंग ह्यूज लॉसेज एंड आई असेस द प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम इज आई हैव ट्वेंटी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सोप्स एंड पीपल ओनली बाय टू टाइप्स बाकी एटीन टाइप्स ज्यादा बिकते नहीं है बट आई आई एम स्टिल हैविंग दोज एटीन टाइप्स सो आई एनालाइज माई करंट प्रॉब्लम ओके दैट आई हैव टू आई हैव टू कट डाउन द नंबर ऑफ वेराइटी ऑफ सोप्स आई हैव नंबर टू असेस दिस इज वॉट माई प्लान इज नाउ असेस द प्रॉब्लम की बहुत ज्यादा वेराइटी आई एम नॉट एबल टू मैनेज द वेराइटी द सोल्यूशन इज कट डाउन टू टू प्रीमियम और टू बेसिक थिंग टू बेसिक वेराइटी एंड डू दैट बिजनेस इम्प्लीमेंट इमरजेंसी प्लान इज शट डाउन करके फैक्ट्री को हाफ करके उसको बेच दो तुरंत सेल हाफ ऑफ योर फैक्ट्री राइट अवे सो दैट यू गेट 
so much cash and you can stop that and put that money into the two basic varieties you want to sell. That's an emergency plan. Number four, emergency is a cut karke bech ke paisa a gaya. Now you start restructuring, remodeling, repackaging those two soaps itself so that now people see you as a new brand, a refresh brand. Marketing karo ke aap us paise se. Then you rebrand, you redesign your packaging, you restructure your business, you change the management, you bring in new people in to do marketing, you bring in new agencies, you bring in new consultants, you bring in new people to take care of your business. And finally, you return to normal. Once you've done all of this, your business starts returning to normal. Okay. And that's how turnaround strategy works. That is how turnaround strategy works. Five steps of turnaround strategy. Assess the current problem, figure out the solution, implement an emergency plan, restructure the business and return to normal. Great. We have 15 more minutes and let's do this. Let's at least start with portfolio management, which is strategic options. Okay. Strategic options. When a business is a conglomerate business or a concentric business. Now we understand businesses which are concentric and conglomerate. We understand concentric and conglomerate businesses. Now, how do they analyze all the products and businesses that they do? A business which is concentric and conglomerate, now they have a separate problem. The problem is, how do they analyze which business is doing good, which business is not doing good? How do you analyze that? Okay. And once you have analyzed that, what should be the strategy with that particular product or business or whatever it is? How do you do that? Okay, we will see. In these four different methods and tools of strategic options, four different methods of strategic options or four different strategic options we have are ANSOF product market growth matrix, ADL matrix, BCG growth share matrix, and GE stoplight matrix. Companies which are concentric or conglomerate Companies which are concentric or conglomerate, both diversification or mergers and acquisition. Dono ke under aata hai. Concentric, conglomerate, horizontal, vertical comes under both diversification as well as uh, mergers and acquisition. How do they analyze all the businesses, all the products, all the variety of things they have? Their entire portfolio of businesses and products. They can do that with these four strategic tricks, tools, methods, and matrices, which is ANSOF product market growth matrix, ADL matrix, BCG growth share matrix, and GE stoplight matrix. Great. Uh, Deepshray, uh, chapter three and four will be uploaded today. So you can refer that. That's not a problem. I'll do that. But study material, padho to, study material, bhi padho, wahi padhani hai. Main to revision, main, my notes are revision. If the business is uh, of intangible minutes like accountant, then what to do to run the business and attack the clients? There could be a lot of things. How you differentiate yourself as a service business, it's absolutely, it's so much easier to differentiate if you go to a particular office, okay? You have seen that in your article ship. You will see that in your article ship or when you do a job. There are certain chart accountants whose offices are like five stars, right? Fantastic offices, booming, what marble and paintings and lights and this and that. There are certain chart accountants which are basic office, like a good working office, good working environment. You get and do a lot of work there. It's more of technical office, right? So now the technical chart accountant will charge good money because they are technically very sound. But the, the chart accountant who's practicing in a five-star office, they will charge money also like a five-star. So that's the differentiation factor. They want to cater to rich clients. They want to cater to affluent clients. That's how service industry caters. Hotel, hotel is a service industry. Now a five-star charge is 14, 15,000 for one night. A four-star hotel charges seven, eight thousand. A three-star hotel charges three to four thousand. A two-star charges fifteen hundred, two thousand. A one-star hotel charges eight hundred, nine hundred. It's service industry. That's how you differentiate. 
and that how that's how you attack your clients attack attack is not the attract i thought you were saying attack clients that's how you attract the kind of clients you want to more services more benefits more feel good factor that's that's what the service industry is do we use strategic options to handle different businesses absolutely yes harsh that's what we're saying both conglomerate and concentric both conglomerate and concentric ko karne ke liye humko ye chahiye let's go to the first one which is ansof matrix for strategic planning which is ansof product market growth matrix the good thing is the good thing is ये हमने पढ़ लिया है नाउ यू सी हाउ इजी द चैप्टर इज यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन एंड सॉफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन जो एंड सॉफ ने बोला है ना व्हाट एंड सॉफ इज टेलिंग यू हाउ टू डेवलप हाउ टू डू थिंग्स इन अ स्ट्रेटेजिक ऑप्शन फॉर अ कॉन्ग्लोमरेट यू वांट टू गेट इनटू अ न्यू मार्केट यू वांट टू गेट इनटू अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट यू वांट टू डाइवर्सिफाई यू वांट टू डेवलप अ मार्केट ऑल ऑफ दिस स्ट्रेटेजिक ऑप्शंस फॉर अ कॉन्ग्लोमरेट और कंसेंट्रिक कंपनी एंसॉफ यही बताता है एग्जिस्टिंग मार्केट न्यू प्रोडक्ट न्यू प्रोडक्ट एग्जिस्टिंग मार्केट न्यू मार्केट एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट सिंपल इफ द मार्केट इज एग्जिस्टिंग एंड द प्रोडक्ट इज एग्जिस्टिंग देन इट इज मार्केट पेनिट्रेशन सेम कस्टमर सेम प्रोडक्ट यू आर सेलिंग मोर इन टू द सेम मार्केट यू सेलिंग मोर इन टू द सेम मार्केट बोथ आर एग्जिस्टिंग when your product is new and your market is existing product development when your market is new your product is existing market development both market and product are new diversification right that's how it is nanji is very uh, uh, pareshan ki uske client nahi aa rahe nanji then clients lane ke liye you will have to advertise a lot more mouth publicity go and create a buzz about your services and brand and then you will get a lot of clients the second one is called the adl matrix okay this is the last one we will do today and then we will wrap up tomorrow we will do, do those two and i will bring case studies tomorrow we are going to do case studies tomorrow so be present asli exam feel kal aayegi aapko i am going to give you the real exam feel i am going to be strict tomorrow because the question i am going to ask are going to be tough because almost at the end of chapter 4 abhi galti ki gunjaish nahi hai okay this is the last topic we'll do today in the next 10 minutes and then we we'll wrap up adl matrix now adl matrix talks about two things it talks about the competitive position of the company compared to the life cycle stage of the industry come again adl matrix talks about two parameters it says your competitive position in the industry versus the life cycle stage the industry is in listen to this very carefully listen to this very carefully competitive position versus industry life cycle here come but पीपल आर सो कंसर्न अबाउट प्रैक्टिस पढ़ाने नहीं दे रही कह रहे सी एज आर रेस्ट्रिक्टेड बाई एडवर्टीजमेंट लॉज नो रोज दे आर नॉट फ्रॉम माउथ पब्लिसिटी काम अच्छा करोगे ना लोग खुद ही आपकी माउथ पब्लिसिटी करेंगे यू जस्ट हैव टू बी स्मार्ट इनफ आई एम नॉट सेंग छाती पे टैटू करवा लो आई टी आर टू थाउजेंड रुपीज कुल वेन यू कंपेयर योर कंपिटेटिव पोजिशन इन द इंडस्ट्री विद इंडस्ट्री लाइफ साइकिल स्टेज it gives you so much insight of what is to be done okay it gives you so much insight of what is to be done classic example deta hu theek hai listen to this very carefully there is a small small car making company there is a small car making company theek hai ji there is a small car making company very small company matlab negligible company it makes very small parts and everything nobody knows this company and it makes diesel cars only it makes diesel cars only sirf diesel cars banati hai the industry it is in is diesel car and it's a very small negligible competitive position in the industry the competitive position of this company is zero 
they, it's the smallest company in the industry okay and the industry stage the diesel car industry is at an aging it's aging it's going to die very soon with electric vehicles and all this hala about climate exchange climate change and all this petroleum and everything the diesel car industry is going to die very soon it's an aging it's it's old age it's aging industry and it is small it is a weak it is weak in competitive position it is weak in competitive position and the industry is dying without looking at the screen what should this company do without looking at the screen what should this company do kya karna chahiye is company ko bina screen pe padhe answer tell me as 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 a common sense what should this company do close the business exit the business sell and retire okay these are the kind of answers we are getting exit shut down sell and retire i want all of you to answer close down it is obvious they should divest and find something new to do switch to another technology close down this business correct sahi hai ho gaya switch to another simple adl matrix is done abandon the answer they say is abandon means chhod do band kar do ye business disown the business close it down close it down okay now let me give you another example there is a company which is middle level which is a middle level industry position as ki not a very big company not a very small company it's a middle size company and it is fairly okay it's it, it has a good position okay it has a not a very strong pos competitive position but a good position in the industry okay but the industry is artificial intelligence ai ke andar kaam karti hai ye company this company works in artificial intelligence but it is not a very big strong competitive company it's a normal middle level competitive advantage company kya karna chahiye is company what should be the ideal strategy of this company what should be the ideal without looking at without looking at the answer again tell me what would you do tell me what would you do should expand priyanka says should expand parth says favorable growth strategy kya hogi aapki you are fairly good in competitive position and you are in ai industry you would try to improve the position as the industry is growing right i would want to be a market leader in the coming future it's a growing industry i'm still at a good position i would fight for becoming the market leader right to keep continuously developing onto the technology keep working ai is a growing sector so expand and fight for market share that that is what you would do try to improve position more research development because the scope is ai is going to grow in the future absolutely now look at this favorable market position and growth industry and a growing industry aapne jo bola inhone bhi jahi bola attempt to improve position selective push for share aapne bhi to jahi bola that's what you said attempt to improve the position and selectively push for increasing your market share that's what they also said that's the adl matrix that's how you select your strategies based on competition your competitive position in the market and the life cycle stage of the market let me ask you another thing let me ask you a last example ek example aur lete hain okay let's ask and uh, take another example your market position your market position as a company is somewhat okayish not too good not the worst you are at okayish level theek hai ji okayish sa hai aapka your market position is okay like people know you but you are not a threat to anybody people know you but you're not a threat to anybody that kind of a brand you are the industry you are into 
the industry you are into in India, right? In India, let's say in India, you are in gene technology, genetics, genetics technology. Genetics ke upar aap kaam karte ho. You're going, you're working on genetics improvement. You're working on gene technology or genetics or biotechnology pe kaam karte ho. That's your industry. But you're in a cash competitive position. What should be your strategy? What should be your strategy? The industry is very, very, very new to India. People even don't know what uh, genetics or biotechnology is in gene theory is. People don't know. Nobody cares. At least in India for now. Very new industry and you are an okayish player. Bhoat bade player nahi ho, bhoat chote player bhi nahi ho. You are okayish. What would you do? That's right. The 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 position is tenable embryonic. Embryonic means embryo hota hai. The small, the birth of anything that's called embryo. So it's embryonic position. Continue the business. Try to get better. Absolutely. But what, what's the strategy? Because it's such a nascent business, a nascent industry, young industry, although competition position is not good, but industry may be growing, so company must give a try. Absolutely, Harsh. Tenable position, hai your embryonic stage, you should do selective push for position. Selective push for position karna chahi aapko, which means, which means you should figure out how do I get upper position pe. Your strategy should be simple. Your strategy should be simple. How do I go up? How do I go into the upper wala position? How do I move to a favorable, to a strong, to the dominant, the best person as the industry grows to grow and mature? When the industry gets into a growth or a mature stage, Joki with life cycle, it will. I should have been at a strong or a dominant position by now. When the industry grows itself, I will grow upward. That's what the strategy is. Simple enough. If the industry grows, then my position is stronger. Ho chuki honi That's where I want to be in the next five years. When the industry is at a growth stage, I should be at a strong stage. Then I will have so much money to make. Right? Profits will be massive for me. That's what the business has to decide. Cool. Recently, you came across biotech students. They said the wide scope, so the company should try to obtain recognition in the market at initial stage. That's right. It should keep trying really hard to increase their position. With that, it's 9.30, my friends, on time as always. And let's wrap up for today here. Tomorrow, we continue very few things left in the chapter tomorrow is going to be case scenarios i'm going to get case scenarios for you at least two full length case scenarios we will do from the topics chapter one to four three and four are going to be uploaded right after this class you can see that and be prepared revise it and i'm going to ask some tough questions tomorrow so that you're not finding it too easy it is easy, but exam is not going to be easy. Okay, the subject is easy, the concepts are easy. It's common sense, but exam ke liye prepare karna is even more important. So we'll do that tomorrow. Cool. With that, I'll just be here for a minute as always. If you have any doubts and questions, but let's wrap up the class for today and see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm here for another minute. If you have any questions and doubts. Do ask. I'll happy. I'll be happy to answer. But let's meet tomorrow then. Your attempt is in November. These classes are helpful. Absolutely, yes. Why not? But but start uh, practicing a lot of questions and study material much. Please do that. 
पेनिट्रेशन आपको हिंदी में चाहिए पेनिट्रेशन मीन्स जब आपका एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट आप एग्जिस्टिंग मार्केट में बेचते हैं तो उसको पेनिट्रेशन बोलते हैं आज पतंजलि की टूथपेस्ट अगर एक करोड़ लोग यूज कर रहे हैं नाउ दिस दे वॉन्ट टू मेक इट और सेल इट टू टू करोड़ पीपल दैट इज मार्केट पेनिट्रेशन आज एक करोड़ लोग यूज करते हैं देन दे डू मार्केटिंग दे डू प्रमोशन दे ब्रिंग इन सम ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ज्यादा शॉप्स में रखते हैं प्राइस गिरा देते हैं दैट स्ट्रैटेजी इज कॉल्ड मार्केट पेनिट्रेशन बिकॉज देन दे आर सेलिंग इट द सेम प्रोडक्ट टू मोर पीपल दे आर सेलिंग द सेम प्रोडक्ट इन द सेम मार्केट टू मोर पीपल दैट इज मार्केट पेनिट्रेशन super harsh good to know you you did not get bored i'm, I'm happy to know that is subah 7 baje uth ke fayda ho gaya theek hai thank you prince ka aaya kya aap jante ho kisi princess ko nahi is prince mera ye kaam nahi hai dost just like rohit sharma said in that interview ye kya hai mera ye kaam nahi hai to mera bhi ye kaam nahi hai awesome you should revise and we will have and more of an exam related thing tomorrow so we'll do that सुपर क्रूड ऑयल में डीजल पेट्रोल मोर आइटम सोल देन विच डाइवर्जन क्रूड ऑयल में डीजल पेट्रोल आप बेच रहे हो तो आपका हॉरिजोंटल हो जाएगा अनलेस यू आर डूइंग द प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट ठीक है जी विद दैट लेट्स रैप अप फॉर टुडे आई एल सी यू टुमारो बी प्रिपेयर वी हैव सम क्वेश्चन आई एल सी यू टुमारो गाइज टेक केयर Bye